This is the beginning of my library. I, I have, I think, one of the larger library, private libraries in, in the downtown area of Savannah. I have roughly 10,000 volumes, and mine is not a collector's library, and mine's not a, a rare book library, but mine's a reader's library. Uh, all, I have read most of the books in the collection, and those that I haven't read, I intend to read because I don't accumulate books that I don't intend to read. I tend to to pick up in, almost anything that, that relates is about Savannah or people who've been in Savannah. Oh, here's a book on, on Ted Turner, for for example. Um, then I have, I have uh, Judge Lawrence's book, The Storm Over Savannah. Uh, I, I, I have Rabbi Rubin's Third to None, the history of, of the, the Mikveh Israel Synagogue. Um, I have The Hunting Season, uh, or The Hurricane Season by Rosemary Danielle, who wrote uh, Fatal Flowers and Sleeping with Soldiers and a number of other racy books about Savannah. Um, most of my books are nonfiction, but I'll occasionally get things like Rosemary Danielle, or I also have here Mary Kay Andrews, who did the Savannah Blues novel. So uh, I, 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 I acquire what's available and what's interesting to me. And, and at any given time, I, I generally have two or three books going and they'll likely be on very different subjects. I was reading the biography of Aaron Burr at the same time I was starting Bill Bryce's A Short History. So I, I'm reading on different, on different things at the same time, and it's whatever interests me. I, I'm, I'm a casual, rather Catholic or universal reader, uh, and I just read what I enjoy. Here I have uh, a lot of little trinkets and whatever, but I have have some of my American collection, uh, and I have them roughly grouped by president. This 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 is the the Kennedy shelf, and then and then this is the Johnson shelf, and then this is the Nixon shelf, and this is the Reagan shelf, uh, and I try to to organize them by that. I'm beginning to. I'm beginning to have more books per president than I have space, so I'm, I'm going to have to investigate a little different way of doing it. How long is it taking you to get a collection this size? Oh, I've been working at it for about 40 years. Where, where have you been getting your books from? Uh, I, I buy virtually all my books secondhand. Uh, I, 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 part of it, I think, is probably my my the economy that comes from my Scots Irish heritage and whatever, but it, it's a, I enjoy hunting for my books at garage sales and and thrift stores and things like that. And then I I order some over the internet and buy a number from local stores as well. But I, I virtually never buy a new book. I, all all my books are are pre-owned. In this little section of shelves, I have my collection of the Georgia Historical uh, Quarterly. And then I have a little section on American and English silver. I have my Studs Turkle, who I'm a great fan of. And then this bit here is books about Shakespeare, one, of one sort or another. This is an area where I made use of my entrance hall. Uh, and I put as many bookshelves in as Mrs. McAllister will allow me to put in. But I, I have in, in these two shelves, these are my Civil War collection. Uh, uh, like, I think Southerners are different than other Americans in that, uh, that we're really more concerned with our history. And I, I and the question keeps coming up, you know, why don't you folks get over the Civil War? Well, I, I don't, I think we're over the Civil War, but what we aren't over is American heritage. And we have so much more history available to us about the Civil War period than we do, for example, the Revolutionary War period. Here's a, a one that I put, you know, kind of shows the Savannah connection. Uh, this fellow, fellow Sneeden, 
uh, was a, an artist and a, a map maker and all with the Union Army and was captured as a POW and then transferred around the various parts of the South. And, and uh, frequently he, he was at, at liberty uh, and was able to make drawings and all. And he, here's a, a drawing he made uh, of the Confederate POW camp in Savannah. Uh, he was here in September of, of 1864. If he'd been here in December, he could have greeted uh, uh, General Sherman when he came to town. But this is apparently in Forsyth Park because we have here the, the faux forts that still exist there. Some of the other buildings around here are a little harder to identify. But this is, this is the sort of thing I'm interested in, something that relates to Savannah, uh, Savannah's history and then carries me on to some other things. One of my real challenges is keeping up with which books I have and which books I want. Uh, I want. I get mixed up between the ones I have and the ones I want. And so I have a computer inventory. I use an Excel spreadsheet. And what I do is I assign each book a, a number as it comes into the collection. It's entirely arbitrary, but I pencil the number in the, in the front of, on, the, on the inside front cover. And this is book 1,676. My numbers go up to 10,000. That's, that's how I know I've got that many volumes. And then when one comes out of the collection, I erase it from the inventory and reassign the number. Do you have any particular favorites in your collection? Oh, my, my favorite is, 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 is whatever I'm reading currently. And I, I just finished up the, the uh, biography of, of Aaron Burr that I mentioned earlier, uh, called Aaron Burr, American Rascal. But, um, but it, it, it's, it's just whatever I'm reading at the time. I've moved on. I started last night Bill Bryce's A Short History of Almost Everything. And uh, I'm, I'm well into that one now. But, so that's my favorite of the moment. But next, next week there'll be a new favorite.